How's it going YouTube? This is Cannabis Education 420. Um, I just want to discuss a certain issue with y'all. Uh, President Barack Obama had his first Oval Office presidential address on June 15th and uh, he brought up a specific issue uh, in his 17 minute long uh, presidential address that I wanted to uh, elaborate on. Um, this is what he said and I'll talk about it after. The consequences of our inaction are now in plain sight. Countries like China are investing in clean energy jobs and industries that should be right here in America. Each day, we send nearly $1 billion of our wealth to foreign countries for their oil. And today, as we look to the Gulf, we see an entire way of life being threatened by a menacing cloud of black crude. We cannot consign our children to this future. The tragedy unfolding on our coast is the most painful and powerful reminder yet that the time to embrace a clean energy future is now. All right, let me. All right. So the time to embrace a clean energy future is now. So that's why we need to quit ignoring the potential of hemp. One acre of hemp can produce over 300 gallons of hemp oil, which can be used as a biodiesel and diesel cars and trucks. And we need to quit ignoring the potential of hemp as an alternative fuel. Because it, it, it does work. I'm not saying that hemp is going to solve our dependence to fossil fuels, but it is a it will help and we need to also bring it to the table as well as all other things like wind energy and water energy and all that other stuff quit ignoring the potential of hemp 